Today is Thursday morning and it's 24 hours later and my hired hand has been working all night. Now the amp meter reads uh, only about one amp. You know as uh, the rust is reduced on the object uh, much less current is drawn but yet uh, since yesterday this much uh, material has been deposited on the anodes so I will turn the thing off and I'm going to clean the anodes off and the water is pretty funky looking now and uh, I'm going to flip the work over the hollow mandrel I'm going to uh, rotate it by 180 degrees this is what it looks like to this point and I've uh, scraped this just a little bit and then uh, brushed it some coarse abrasive and uh, flush it with just a little water here and you can see it is brightening up but it initially is very black when it comes out of the uh, the electrolytic bath so now I'm going to flip it upside down got to position the boards and uh, we'll let her run uh, another 24 hours this way and tomorrow is Friday and that'll be the final day you probably remember me saying that the underside was coated with tar or asphalt and uh, it doesn't seem that uh, it, there's been any, any activity there at all. I'm sure it's all insulated and uh, that asphalt will stay in place and I guess I don't really care about that but uh, I'm going to put it in here overnight upside down like this anyway. This is how much material I've scraped off the anode so far. The work is flipped over. Uh, the amp meter is reading about 5 amps, but within an hour the amperage goes way, way down. And you can see a little activity already. I will have to add a little more water because the far end there isn't quite submerged. So, all that being said, uh, I'll put the hired hand to work and I'll see you in 24 hours. Well, it's finally Friday. And I've decided I'm going to hang on to this project for a few more days here because I'm still having fun with it. And there might be a little more rust on the item, but the, the action really slows down when most of the rust is gone. But, you know, I was, had this bright idea where I wanted to put some more uh, anodes in there, but I'm kind of running out of scrap that I want to uh, waste on this and then have to throw away because I don't intend to clean up that scrap. I thought, well, I'll just put a couple of tin cans in there. Now, I know that the steel is plated with tin but it's incredibly thin but I've had this on now for for 10 hours and look at the accumulation here on these cans so I'm gonna leave those in a little bit longer and uh, similarly down at the other end I've got a pair of cans now Notice that one can, and I've got those clipped together, notice that one can has much more accumulation on it than the other. And I, I don't know if some way or another there, you electricians or you engineers maybe will know, that uh, possibly one of those assumes a, a positive charge and one a negative, you know, like a battery, since there's two of them, I don't know why that would be or is one can from a different manufacturer and there's also some kind of coating on the outside of it so uh, but it's, it's kind of uh, interesting that that there isn't much uh, rust and uh, crud on that one so I'm going to continue this and uh, after I turn the camera off here in a minute I'm going to turn the uh, project 180 degrees back to its original position because it's still upside down and in other words, I'm finishing it off like they do with cattle. You know, the last few days or weeks or whatever it is, they're finishing those cattle. Well, I'm finishing this project, and I will see you 
tomorrow and at, at present the uh, amp meter on the battery charger is still reading about two thousands uh, not two thousands I'm over in the machine shop uh, two amps see you on the morrow okay it's actually two days later now I skipped the day but I did do a few things uh, during that uh, extra day but I need to wrap up this project it's going on way too long so uh, I'm going to talk about this and then take the uh, project out of the water but first I got to tell you a story and I forgot to mention this the other day when I got home from the auto show but <clears throat> the Amtrak train was stopped in a small town and it was an unscheduled stop and I didn't know what it was you know the the snow was terrible but uh, saw a police car outside of the uh, uh, the train station there and uh, t two cops came on board and hauled a man off who was disruptive now I guess that's like a federal offense on an Amtrak train but uh, he was drunk and, and just uh, obnoxious so off they took him and I think I don't know how he ever got to Chicago I doubt they arrested him because what uh, what possible uh, uh, good would that do? We probably didn't have any money. But uh, I was thinking, you know, we don't have a good justice system in this country at all. Probably the best in the world, don't get me wrong, but it's not very good. But if only that man had been uh, bent over the hood of the squad car and spanked with ten good swats of three-quarter inch red heater hose, then he would think twice before acting like that again and he'd say, man, that hurt. Last time they spanked me, I think I'll be a good man now. All right. On with the subject here. Well, the amp meter still reads about uh, one or two amps, and I'm going to unplug it. And that's the end of that. Now, as I told you in one of the other ones, uh, I changed the anodes uh, to uh, tin cans. And, and I took all of the other reg regular steel ones out of there, but I'm going to take all of the um, daisy chain wiring off this and, and we'll take a look at this. But before I do, this is the amount of uh, debris that I scraped off the other steel anodes over a period of five or six days. And then also if you can notice here, I'll have to lower the camera, but there's a lot of sediment in the bottom of the, of the pan. From this view, handheld camera, you can see there's a lot of sediment. I'll take these cans out of the water one at a time. And I still have no good explanation for whatever this phenomenon is where uh, one side is coated because, you know, I do rotate them. These remind me of the pilings in, in, along the ocean, although it's the wrong color, but the incrustations. Now that didn't rust through or anything like that. I just did that uh, to see, uh, confirm that I knew that it wouldn't accumulate on the inside because the inside of the can is coated. There's another one where there's like a bare spot. So, there's uh, six cans that are coated, but I, I thought that was interesting and, and it's a good cheap way. Depends on how much soup you eat. You know, I like Progresso soups, especially the barley soup. Try that sometime. Okay, I got a broom handle laying across the pan, so I'm going to pull the uh, uh, mandrel out of there. You know, that's about the only good thing that's, uh, that broom's for. Those dollar brooms at the dollar store, they spin around uh, where the handle meets the head of the broom and render them useless. You know, is it, is it that difficult to make a broom, you know, so that it's actually usable? All right. Out she comes.
Now, as mentioned before, they don't come out shiny. Now, this is the little area that I did uh, work on one time in one of the other or earlier parts of the video. This is a long video. So it's necessary to clean these right away and oil them or they quickly uh, uh, get kind of uh, raggy looking again. Now on the back side, remember that's asphalt or something and I'm not going to do anything with that other than dry it off and, and uh, uh, but I'm going to lightly wire brush the other side off camera, oil it, and then bring it back for uh, the final show and tell. Very interesting. I've just scrubbed this in the sink uh, real well with a fingernail brush and on the bottom side it says I believe the word is Adams. The Adams Company Dubuque Iowa. So it is not a Pexto, it is not a Niagara, and in fact I never heard of this Adams company. Maybe it was a popular company. So I solved that mystery. The biggest part of this job is going to be to try to restore this uh, container here, so I have to drain the water and, and uh, get that sediment out there, but there's six inches of snow, well, a total of about two feet of snow outside so I can't really work out there so that's got to set for a little while but I, I would like to sneak that back under the bed with the wrapping paper if I can. This thing is really starting to look good. I spent uh, seven minutes had it on the floor brushing it with this but uh, it could use more but it's not going to get it. And then on this little section here I did use just about uh, one minute's worth of elbow grease right here and you can see it's been banged on plenty during its life. And down here there's quite a few chisel marks uh, put on there by what I call a hammer and chisel mechanic. So now I'm going to oil it. Rub that oil around because it will uh, start to rust or corrode right away if you don't do that. Now, I never expected this to look like brand new the day that it came out of the Adams Company. But I'm going to oil the whole thing down and not worry about the underside because we still got that asphalt under there. But uh, that's it for this uh, rather large uh, project here on the Adams Hollow Mandrel. Hope you enjoyed this rather lengthy video and this complete, completes my uh, uh, experiments with uh, electrolysis. An interesting project and process. So this is Tubal Kane saying so long for now.